All right, here we are, the big day, October 29th, 2025, the day the mystery finally meets the fire. 3i Atlas, the strange, fast, unpredictable traveler from the stars, just made its closest approach to the sun. For months, astronomers, scientists, and pretty much the entire space community have been waiting for this moment. Because this, this is the moment of truth. If 3i Atlas is just another cosmic snowball, it's about to act like one. It'll heat up, melt, spit out gas, and throw a tail halfway across the solar system. But if it's not, if this thing isn't just a frozen rock from another star system, then what happens next could blow our minds. Right now, as you're listening, Atlas is screaming past the sun at insane speed, over 58 kilometers per second. That's roughly 130,000 miles per hour. It's being roasted by more than 770 watts of solar energy per square meter, enough to melt most metals and vaporize any ice instantly. For a fragile comet, that kind of heat is deadly, but for something tougher, something engineered, it's just a test run. This is what Harvard's Avi Loeb calls the decisive moment, the truth window. If Atlas is natural, we'll see it start to fall apart in the coming days. Fragments, debris, maybe a massive dust cloud that makes it glow like a ghost in the night sky. But if it survives this close brush with the sun completely intact, or worse, if it starts doing something weird like changing course, that's when things get real. Here's the kicker. We can't actually see what's happening right now. Atlas is on the far side of the sun, hidden in that blinding solar glare. So, we're flying blind. Whatever's going down, whatever it's doing, it's happening in secret. And when it comes out the other side, we'll finally see what survived. This is the part of the story where everyone's holding their breath. The comet community's waiting for a bright outburst. That's what normal comets do. They flare up, shed layers, and light up the sky. But a growing number of scientists are whispering something else. What if it doesn't behave like a comet at all? Because here's the thing, nothing about this object has been normal from day one. When it was first spotted earlier this year, it was out past Jupiter's orbit, way too far for a comet to already have a visible coma, that glowing gas halo. But it did. It was releasing gas way before it should have. And not just any gas. Mostly carbon dioxide. In fact, it had eight times more carbon dioxide than water vapor. That's backwards from how normal comets behave. It's like this thing's built from totally alien ingredients. Then came the metallic surprise. Spectroscopy readings showed nickel, but almost no iron. That doesn't happen naturally. Every planet, moon, asteroid, or comet we've ever studied has both. And that made people start to wonder, maybe this isn't a comet at all. Still, let's stay grounded. Maybe it's just a weird chunk of some ancient solar system that got flung our way. That's the most logical answer, right? But man, logic has a funny way of breaking down out here in deep space. Atlas is now about 203 million kilometers from the sun, flying on a hyperbolic orbit, which means it's not coming back. Once it leaves, it's gone forever headed back into interstellar space. That's what makes this moment so critical. This is our one and only chance to study it up close. So, what's next? Once it clears the sun's glare, telescopes on Earth and in orbit will start watching it again, scanning for any change in brightness, structure, or direction. If it lights up, that's normal comet stuff. If it stays dark or steady, that's suspicious. And if its path suddenly shifts, even slightly, that could be the sign we've been waiting for. Because remember, Aumuamua did the same thing back in 2017. 
it accelerated without explanation as it left the sun. No visible jets, no gas, no tail, just an invisible push. And some scientists, including Avi Loeb, suggested it might have been a light sail, a kind of alien technology designed to move using starlight. Now here we are again, years later, with another object doing strange, unexplainable things. And this time, it's even bigger, about five and a half kilometers wide. It's massive, dark, and oddly symmetrical, and it's flying almost perfectly along the ecliptic plane, the same flat disk where all our planets orbit. That's not normal either. Most interstellar objects we've seen came from above or below that plane, but Atlas came in like a sniper shot, just three degrees off the perfect alignment. That's like hitting a bullseye in 3D space. Out of infinite directions, it picked the one that runs right through the solar system's main traffic lane. Coincidence? Maybe. But that's a hell of a coincidence. Imagine an object that looks like a comet, but isn't. Something hiding inside. Maybe a probe. Maybe several. It drifts close to stars, gathers data, then moves on. If you were an advanced civilization trying to study others without being noticed, this would be the perfect trick. A quiet little comet costume, cruising through alien systems, pretending to be natural. Nobody questions it until it does something unexpected. That's why this perihelion, this close pass to the sun, matters so much. Because whatever's inside, whether it's frozen rock or something way more complex, will show itself soon. If it breaks up, fine, nature wins. If it changes course or releases smaller fragments moving in formation, that's something else entirely. Over the next few weeks, telescopes will track it as it swings past Venus on November 3rd then approaches Earth in mid-December, coming within 267 million kilometers. That's not close enough to be dangerous, but it's perfect for observation. Spacecraft like Ju, Ice, and Juno might even catch glimpses or detect radio patterns. Every instrument we've got is turning toward this thing, because once it's gone, it's gone. We'll never see it again. It's like a cosmic drive-by. One shot, one pass, and it disappears into the black forever. Somewhere between now and March 2026, we'll get our final answers. Will it fall apart like dust? Or will it stay whole? Maybe even maneuver? That's the mystery. And here's where it gets wild. This could end up being the first object ever caught changing trajectory without natural cause. If that happens, the headlines will write themselves. It won't just be interstellar visitor. It'll be first contact evidence. But until then, we wait, we watch, we let the data roll in, and we keep our eyes wide open. Because whatever Atlas really is, one thing's for sure. It's not just another rock, it's the strangest visitor we've ever seen. A messenger from somewhere beyond, carrying stories from a star we've never known. Maybe it's just a relic from a dead system. Maybe it's something built. Either way, it's history in motion. And right now, as it blazes past the sun, the universe is whispering secrets we're only beginning to hear. So don't blink. Because when 3 I Atlas comes out from behind the sun, the sun has tested it. Now, it's our turn to find out what survives. <laughs>